Huge thank you to my four members on YouTube. Thank you so very much for supporting what I do. All right, you guys have asked, begged, and nagged me for this. You've been asking me for this before I even became a Twitch partner. Desynchro, teach me how to do the goddamn fake television on your stream. Tonight, I'm revealing my biggest kept secret and one of the staples of my channel to you guys. Let's go. Super important disclaimer. Zaymar, the developer of the plugin we will be using, has posted a very important announcement in their Discord explaining that certain RTX cards have been having performance issues and going as far as becoming bricked. So if you're scared of something happening to your RTX card, the fake TV can still be done with an actual green screen instead. For more information, check out the official StreamFX Discord's announcement. Link is going to be on the description. How's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is DC. For the past year, I've had a TV behind me on my streams that many people have thought to be real. However, the TV is actually one of the many effects that I have on my stream. I can set the TV to show whatever I have on my gameplay screen and whatever I want, really. I can make it have visuals, the music that we're playing, and even another camera. It's really fun, and it adds quite a lot of life to my streams. For the synchro, why not just get an actual TV? Because it costs moaners, my dude. And also, it's pretty funny to get a reaction out of people when they realize it's fake. Oh, no. There is no fridge! I lied! Wait, no. All right, let's stop talking about what we can do with it and actually start doing the damn thing. Guys, if this video helps you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. So... What are we gonna need? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna need an RTX card. But before you click off the video, there is a way to do it without an RTX card. It's just that having an RTX card is a lot more convenient and efficient. But we'll be going over how to do it without an RTX card later in the video. Secondly, we're going to need a plugin called StreamFX installed in our OBS. This is the plugin that we're going to need to not only make the TV, but it's also going to enable the ability for us to use a virtual green screen effect, which is what we're going to be using. And the last thing we're going to need is the video oh. effects SDK from the official NVIDIA website. This is what's going to add the virtual green screen effect to stream effects. All the links to this will be on the description to make it easy for you guys to get it. Installing all of these things are quite easy. To install stream effects, click the link in the description and it'll take you to the website. Click go to downloads. It'll take you to their GitHub. Scroll down to you see assets and choose your operating system. Download it, run the setup, and there you go. Same thing with video effects. The link is gonna be in the description. Scroll down, you have the video effects over here. Have a look which one is your card. Either you have an RTX 30 series or a 20 series. Click download, run the EXE, and install it. All right, once you're done with that, let's head over to OBS. So you guys will be surprised on how easy this effect is to do. I'm not even kidding. We're going to split this into a few easy steps. So step one, we're going to be creating the scenes. Step two, we're going to be adding the filters. And step three, I'll come up with something. So let's suppose you're starting with a brand new OBS and you don't have much right now. First, let's make a couple of new scenes. Let's make a brand new scene and call it camera. Make a new source and let's do a video capture device. We're going to name it webcam. Select your camera device and link it to it. Now, head down to sources again, and we're going to be making a source mirror. A source mirror is essentially a clone of a source or a scene that you link it to. However, any filters that you add to that source mirror is only going to affect that source mirror and nothing else. Let's call this webcam RTX. Link the source mirror to the video capture device we just made. Awesome, now we have that first part organized. Next, let's make a new scene and call it displays. This is the scene we're going to be using to add our displays to. You can add your gaming, a browser source, a video, an image, whatever you want. For this example, I'm actually going to be adding my other camera, but you can choose what you want to add to this. You can add whatever you want. Once you're done adding your sources, let's go back to the camera scene that we created. Click the plus button for the sources and let's add another source mirror. Let's name this fake TV. And this time we're going to be linking our display scenes to the source mirror. Drag the source mirror in between the webcam and the webcam RTX. This is what your scene should look like now. Webcam RTX, fake TV in the middle and webcam at the bottom. 
Got that? Awesome. Now we can move on to step two. Now it's time for us to add the necessary filters. So first things first, right click webcam RTX, go over to filters, click the plus button and go to virtual green screen. Change the settings to your preference and then close. And once that's done, you should see a version of yourself without your background over your displays. How cool is that? The next thing we gotta do is add a 3D transform filter to our fake TV. So right click the fake TV source, go to filters, click the plus, go to 3D transform. Change the camera mode to perspective. With this, we can actually change where we want our TV to be. We can change the angle, the rotation. You can make it large, you can make it small, you can make it wide, it's all up to you. Anyways, this part is down to you. You have to play a little bit around to get the positioning to whatever suits your room. I already know which settings are best for mine, but you have to discover this part on your own. Hey, I don't live in your room, okay? I don't know what kind of stuff you guys get up to in there. And besides, you haven't even taken me to dinner first. Why would I want to be in your room? Alright, so now you guys are probably wondering, how do I add that little frame around the TV? Kind of like how I have it on my streams. Well, that's actually super, super easy. Head over to your fake TV and go to filters, click the plus and add SDF effects. The border that I have on mine is just a simple outline. Play around with it for a bit till it becomes to your liking. And if you want to add a drop shadow, you can easily do that as well. And if you want to change how the TV looks a little bit to try and make it a little bit more realistic, just add a simple color correction filter and play around with it until it suits your taste. And there you go. You're done. I told you this was easy as hell. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how do I do this without an RTX card? Well, there's two ways to do it. There's a virtual green screen plugin that doesn't require an RTX card. Link to it is going to be in the description for you guys. The way that it works is a little bit different to the RTX method because you also have to apply a chroma key filter on top of it to remove the background, but it can give really good results as well. And another way to do it is if you have an actual green screen. Record your room for a few seconds without you in the frame, and then then add that recording as a media source on your OBS and make it loop. Next, set up your green screen and add yourself over the video of your room and then add the TV. And there you go. Yes, guys, I know it's not the same, but it's a decent alternative, all things considered. You can still do some really cool stuff this way as well. And the way that we set up our fake TV as well, if you guys have seen my video on how to switch displays within the same scene, you'll be able to literally switch from any screen that you want and it'll automatically update your fake TV. Woo, there we go. You guys finally got what you've been asking for for so long. Y'all better be working on your fake TVs right now. I swear to God, if I come over to your streams and I don't see a fake TV after I spend all this time making this video, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing because I love you guys too much. Aww. But yeah, I hope this video helped. I hope it taught you guys something new. If you guys made it this far into this video, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you guys don't feel like writing anything, then just leave an emoji or something. Engagement helps the channel grow and it gives the YouTube algorithm a little stiffy. But seriously, tell me some of the crazy stuff you plan on adding to your own streams down in the comments. I'd legit love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape, or form. And thank you, thank you so much to these four <laughs> legends for going the extra mile and supporting my content with your membership. It really means the world to me. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. Catch you all later. If you want to learn even more cool stuff, check out the new video that we posted the other day. I guarantee you it's going to make a difference in your streams.